everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be making some pecan chewies now I have made this recipe in the past I will link the old recipe up here in the cards so you can go take a look at it but I have fiddled around with the recipe and I think improved it tremendously uh, I do like the texture of the new ones a whole lot better I think it's just an, an all-around better candy with that being said I decided to bring you the new recipe so you can check it out for yourself if you are new here welcome my name is Laura where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week and if you're an oldie here thank you for spending time with me today don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram the recipe will be linked in the description box below and if you have any questions about the recipe just leave it in the comments and I will get back with you if you enjoy my content don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up okay guys let's get started alrighty we are going to start this recipe I am actually making a double batch you can make a single batch I will have the breakdown in the description box below uh, we're gonna start with our sugars our white sugar our brown sugar and our corn syrup Okay, I have the heat at a medium high, and then I'll just move over my ingredients, the next ones that are coming on. And we're going to break this up and mix it all up. Now, I do have a candy thermometer, and I think it's very important. I like to use this big one. Um, as you can see here, I have marked it. This is just easier to see for me. I don't have to be messing around pulling it off. And We're going to go to the softball stage, which is 240 degrees. And it does take a few minutes. I have the fire at medium to high heat. But you do not want to leave the stove because you don't want this to, to bubble over or anything. You want to keep your eye on it. And it takes it a few minutes. It's going to take it about five whole minutes to uh, come to temperature. And if you don't have one of these large thermometers and you need to get one, they have these smaller ones at pretty much any grocery store that you can get. Uh, for me, it's just kind of hard to read the, the numbers, but if you can, you know, you can go with one of these thermometers here. They're, they work perfectly well. But I will leave, try to find this one. I'll leave it listed in the description box. Okay, we're just going to wait for this to come to temperature, and then I'll bring you back in stages and show you the different textures of the sugar. Okay, now that this started to come to a little bit of a boil, I get in here and stir it around just so that it doesn't bubble over. If it starts to get too high, just lower the temperature just a little bit. And this reaches the softball stage pretty quick. Okay, we have reached the, the softball stage. I am going to add in the butter. I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. I'm going to slide in the butter and let that start melting just a little bit turn the heat back up okay now that's just about all melted I'm going to start adding in the milk slowly because you don't want it to bubble over And this starts to drop the temperature pretty quick. Now you're going to throw in your uh, salt. Raise the temperature just a little bit again to medium high. And it took about seven minutes to get it to uh, the softball stage the first time. Okay, I'll try to keep track of the time here to show you how quick it's going to get up to temperature again. Okay, everything's mixed in nice. We're going to throw in our pecans. This has been about four minutes after I started to, candy started to boil. I just want to show you different stages so you know what you're looking at. Okay, this has reached the 210 degree mark. We're still a ways off. But as you can see, it kind of starts to evaporate the water in the milk. And that's when it's going to start to thicken up. I can feel in the uh, candy that it's already getting a little bit thicker. I don't know if I can show you that. See how it's getting just a little bit thicker. It's not as runny. Okay, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, it's been about 13 minutes. We are at 228 degrees. 
and as you can see it's thickening up nicely we're almost there okay I'm going to show you the stage here it's getting pretty thick the last thing that we are going to add is the vanilla but I put the vanilla in at the end when I turn off the fire so that it doesn't bubble too much it's been about 18 minutes just so you know more or less the time frame that we're working with here it takes it a while because you have to do this slow you don't want to bring it up too fast okay we got to our desired temperature about one degree before I'm going to turn off the fire and I'm going to pour in the vanilla and you can see how it bubbles up so you need to be careful make sure the kids are out of the kitchen and this is ready Okay, I'm going to remove the thermometer. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to show you exactly how I pour this. i got to move fast. I have my small cookie sheet here with some parchment paper. I will use a big glove for this. And I pour it onto the sheet. every bit of that gooey gooey goodness so then I just take my spatula you can use a bigger spatula if you want and spread it out evenly and I'm not going to scoop them the traditional way I have found that this way gets me a more uniform chewy and I can wrap them easier with my paper that I use to wrap them Look at all that goodness. And I am going to let this cool for about an hour till they are completely cool. And don't touch this tray because this tray is piping hot. Okay, and that's it. Look at that. Let me bring you in for a close up. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, I'm going to go put this in front of a fan. And after they are cool completely, which will be like two seconds for you, I will show you how I, how I cut them and how I wrap them to store them. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, everybody. This is finally cool. I'm going to pop it out of this tray. And it pretty much slides out pretty quick. And I just peel back the parchment. And the size that you want to make it, that's totally up to you. However size candy you want to make. Okay, so what I do to cut it, I get my cleaver. You can use a regular knife for this. I just find it easier. And I spray the edge just real lightly. And then I cut them into the shapes that I want. I like to cut them in little squares. So I try to find the middle. And then I just pull that one piece off to make it easier for myself. Put it aside. And we do the same thing over here. Find the middle. Then you cut them into the pieces that you want. And if it starts to get stuck again, just clean off your knife. And then I just cut them into little squares, just like that. And that is a perfect serving size, I think. You can make them bigger if you want. And there we go. Look at all that. Delicious. So now I get, I buy these little candy papers on Amazon. Pretty inexpensive. It's just a little candy sheet just like that. I put my candy on it. And then I just wrap it. And that's it, just like that. 
So I'm going to keep going, cutting these and wrapping these, and then we will take a taste. Okay, everybody, here we go with the candy. Look at all these candies I got out of that. Uh, well, this is a double batch, so, but I did cut these a little bigger so that you could see that you can make them different sizes. You see the sizes? It's up to you how you want to cut them. And this is the candy. Yes, I'm handling them with my hands because these are not being given to anybody. You see how pliable they are? I'm just going to mess with it so that you can see that they are not rock hard. Look at that. Just exactly what it is. It's a pecan chewy praline. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, here we go. I was dying to try these. Mmm. Nice. Very, very nice and chewy. The richness of the pecans and they're not pulling out your teeth. They're just right, I think. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, guys, as I explained, this is a redo of a recipe that I've been messing with. I think you will really, really enjoy this candy. It's delicious. It's nice and chewy, not hard, where it's going to pull out your crowns and all that. Delicious, great for gift giving. Valentine's Day is coming around. You don't have to necessarily give them chocolate. You can give some pecan pralines. A candy that I think everybody will love. I know I do. This is a childhood candy of mine that I will love forever. Give it a try, guys, and let me know what you think in the, down in the comments below. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, give us a thumbs up and share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.